Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to answer which one of these two volatile stocks is the better one to buy. Is it ZIM stock or is it Devon Energy stock? I'm going to look at five different financial metrics to answer this question, starting with revenue. So let's get right into it. So both Devon and ZIM benefited during the middle stages of the pandemic for different reasons. ZIM benefited because people staying at home shopped online more often. People couldn't spend money on services, so they had to buy goods. And if you're a shipping company that imports goods from around the world to the U.S., then you benefit when people are buying more goods. And that's what happened for ZIM, which saw its revenue explode. However, as people shifted their behavior and started spending more money on services, the need for shipping goods significantly decreased. So the price per order or the price per item shipped decreased significantly. And so that's not been good news for ZIM as economies reopen. S similarly, with Devon Energy, the company benefited when the price of oil surged after the initial invasion of Ukraine by Russia. However, as the situation has eased, as the economic reopening in China is not as strong as people thought it was going to be. People thought that when the economic reopening in China gained momentum, that there was going to be a strong demand for oil from that economy. But that hasn't been the case. And so that's subdued the price of oil, which has been bad news for Devon Energy. So each of these two has experienced a boom bust cycle where revenue exploded and now revenue is falling. Next, I wanted to compare these two on cash flow from operations. And similarly, a boom bust cycle is happening, but the bust is more severe for ZIM, which saw its cash flow from operations crash all the way down to 173 million from a peak of near 2 billion. Devon Energy, not so severe. Its revenue, its cash flow from operations did fall, but not as severely as ZIM. Did. Next, let's look at their total cash and equivalents. And looking at this metric, you could see that ZIM has $1.9 billion in cash on hand, while Devon has $887 million of cash on hand, which is interesting. If you look at the average number of shares outstanding, Devon Energy has about 650 million shares outstanding, while ZIM has 120 million shares outstanding. So if you take the cash of 1.9 billion for ZIM and you divide it by total number of shares outstanding, the company has more than $10 per share of cash on hand, which is interesting because the company's stock price is around $12. So it's got almost enough cash. It's got almost as much cash on hand per share as the stock price per share, which is which makes it an interesting asset play, an interesting asset investment. Of course, if its cash flow from operations continues to crash, then some of that cash that it has on hand will be used in its operations because it, it will be losing money every quarter so there is a concern there but still something interesting to consider when you're thinking about investing in zim versus investing in devon stock devon stock i should say as one of my viewers pointed out it's pronounced devon and not devon thank you if you're watching again in this video so finally i wanted to look at valuation and Judging by the forward price to earn, not forward, I'm sorry, just the price to earnings ratio, Devon did, I said it again, Devon stock is trading at a price to earnings of 5.2, while ZIM stock is trading at a price to earnings of 0.5. And I'll, I'll make a little side note here. The reason why I keep saying Devon is because I had a friend in high school whose name was spelled just like this, D-E-V-O-N, and it was pronounced Devon. So that stuck with me over the years, and I keep saying Devon. Anyways, so ZIM is trading at a price to earnings of 5.2, more than 10 times as expensive as ZIM stock, 
at 0.509. So if I had to pick one of these two stocks today, I would pick ZIM stock. Now I know it's got a greater degree of risk because its cash flow from operations is crashing more so than Devon is. But at the same time, it's got a lot of cash on hand. And so if it can stop that decrease in cash flow from operations through efficiency, through cost cuts and so on, it may be in a better position here as a value investment compared to Devon Energy here. So that's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now.